I wanted to, to convey something about uh, the human experience within the camp, the concentration camp. I didn't want to, you know, have the usual approach of, uh, of, of, of being, uh, of, 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 of telling a, a story of survival. And um, uh, I think a lot of times Holocaust films told stories of survival and uh, told, talked about the exception. And I wanted to talk about what, what it was to be as a human being in the middle of it and find uh, cinematic terms and cinematic way uh, to tell the story. And, um, and I wanted to uh, tell, tell something about uh, you know, the very heart of the extermination. And uh, Geza, the, uh, this is your first film, you're lying, right? No, it's not my first film. <laughs> Actually, I, I did play when I was uh, in my early 20s. Ah, because I read that you, that you live in New York, that you're a writer. Yeah, I've, I've first... been living in New York for 15 years, so it, you're right, in the past two decades I were not playing it, I was not playing at all. What brought you into, into this, in a Son of Soul? Well, Laszlo sent me the script we met up in New York a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, when, as he was preparing his first feature film, somehow he had me in mind and he shared the script with me. And, you know, after a, a process of, of working together, improv, improv, doing improvisations and rehearsing. At the end, you know, he offered me the lead role and I was very happy. Um, my first reaction, you know, finishing uh, reading the script that this movie must be made. Uh, the film, I think, is a story about finding your own dignity within a world in which, uh, well, we all know what that word was. Do you think the the sun or the body of this kid symbolizes the the path to human dignity? Or yes, absolutely. I think the question of the film is when there's no more hope and no more God and uh, no more humanity. Is there a possibility for the human voice uh, within uh, something that would uh, tell? the individual what to do and to how, how to remain human. So that's, that, that, that's the hope of the film, I think. Uh, and it, this hope goes through the story of, the, of Saul and uh, his quest to bury this, this child. When it comes to the whole pro financing of the film, where did you find it or how did it work? Only the Hungarian Film Fund uh, financed the film. Uh, no other film organization wanted to co-finance it or finance it. Um, the uh, we we tried to to raise money in 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 Europe, but we we, we didn't succeed. Uh, everybody was uh, was scared. I, I think of the ambition of the project and uh, and the the fact that it was a first uh, first uh, film f feature film. So first feature film for you? It's, it is. And uh, so th th this business is not about risks, right? Or what do you think? It should be about risks. I, I mean, know, but... I it, mean, it, the filmmaking is about, you know, having different voices, hearing different voices. If, uh, if there's no risk or ambition in filmmaking, then uh, why, why should we do it? Yeah, I think it was part of the reason why why um, this that, you know the co-production idea did not work out. It's exactly because of that that they they felt that this subject matter is not something you know you can really screw up with. You have to be very you know precise and responsible. And they felt like for a first feature film, you know, why don't you pick something more safe? And I think it's just, uh, I, I admire Laszlo for sticking to his guns and, and do something, you know, entering on the beaten, on, unbeaten path, you know, trying something new. And now you're here representing Hungary, a, a potential Oscar contender with the film. How do you feel about that? And what's the, the campaign? Is there a campaign? Or? 
how does it work? Yes, we, we're in the middle of uh, a big campaign and it's new for us, uh, obviously. We're trying to, uh, um, to, to, to make it, uh, you know, to, to accompany the film and, uh, you know, uh, be there. And uh, I think it's, it's important and to meet the audiences. And, um, and uh, well, it's, 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 a, it's a job, I guess, you know, it's, uh, um, it's, a, it's almost like a profession, um, which, is, uh, which is quite, quite new for me. So, um, yeah, what can I say? Yeah, I mean, uh, the movie was made in a, in a special time because um, the survivors are dying out, you know, and, and um, you know, losing them, so to speak, um, they are losing the living link to this event. They are the one who they're very, with their very beings, they are, you know, their testimonies of, of, of what happened. And I think especially for the young people, there is this, you know, fear in me that this will just become simply history, you know, part of the normal flow of, of human history. And I, I believe this is not a normal history, so to speak. I think there is tremendous importance and lesson in the Holocaust, just like in every other genocide. And um, this one actually took place in, in the heart of the European civilization. It is probably the most well-documented genocide, and that gives us the, the opportunity, you know, to really take it to the heart and ask our questions. How did Auschwitz come to being? What happened with the human family? Well, how did we become so cruel to each other? So I also, I do not reject or refuse any sort of invitation because I'm just like in the movie, I'm, on a, I'm a man on a mission and I really want to speak about it and I, and I feel the, the importance of it.